Let's move on to another asset, accounts receivable. If you're selling to customers and they ask to pay later and you agree to that, you have what's called an account receivable. Account receivable is an asset. Why? Because it will benefit you in the future. You'll get cash when they finally do pay. And you obtain control over that by making a sale to this customer so they agreed to pay you and that was the past transaction. Your accounts receivable account will increase when you make sales on account to customers. These are known as credit sales. It may also increase if maybe in the past you wrote it off thinking you'd never collect but then all of a sudden you realize you would so you'd increase it and then finally collect. Now when they do pay, that's going to cause your receivables to go down. You're going to get the cash, and since you now have the cash, you no longer have the receivable. There's no future benefit if they've already paid you. When customers pay, your receivables go down. If your customer returns a good that they don't want, you often will give them a reduction in the receivable. So they owed you $100 and they say, oh, I didn't want that anymore. You would reduce the amount they owe you by that $100. Sometimes customers simply don't pay. And in that case, when you've concluded, hey, this customer will not pay because they've gone bankrupt, then you would write off your bad accounts receivables. And that will cause this asset called receivable to go down. It's no longer an asset because there is no future benefit. They're not paying. Let's move on.